Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today I will show you how you can set up voice chat and proximity voice chat in your project. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I am in my uh, old project that I created in one of my last videos. It was called Implement Advanced Session and if you aren't here yet, then just follow the steps of the other tutorial. Okay, so we did that if we just open this, that uh, Steam, the Steam overlay pops up and we successfully implemented Steam. And it should work. Yes, there's my profile picture and this is the pop-up pop and we can press this. And now I want to add voice chat. First of all, we need a player character. I will just import a uh, third person character as well as the first person character. So I will prepare the first person blueprint now for the voice chat. Uh, so I will just delete that, delete that, uh, go to here and delete that like that and that okay and here we can delete oh that was wrong we can delete that and that and here at the mannequin and the third person animation that's why i implemented the third person animation at uh, the third person uh, tag as well then let's rotate this 90 degrees minus 90 degrees Minus 90 degrees. Okay, just reset the position and here minus 60, no minus 100. Uh, minus 90 maybe. Okay, uh, that's quite good. And now here, we doesn't, we um, tick on a no see. And here, I hope this is already set up. Yes. Okay, if we now start this game, you can see, uh, or if we now start this game and just go into the level blueprint, copy this, copy, no, uh, and copy this, we want set input mode game only, no, we can delete everything, we don't need the menu, okay. So now we can move. Oh, we haven't selected the um, player character yet. So I will also, uh, no, I won't. I will just add the first person game mode. And now we can walk and run and so on. Okay, uh, the second thing we need to do, we need to add an instance. So go uh, here, add and instance uh, I will just choose a normal one and I call it instance underscore name the first thing we will do is go to the project settings and go to maps and modes and select the main instance here we can also add the new map okay we already did this and perfect in here we can create a custom event i call it create or ho host underscore session and just create an advanced session get the play controller on success open level and uh I did something wrong. It's very important that you um, write this in here. Question mark listen, uh, or else it doesn't work. So um, I missed something very important uh, because we need to create another. Well, we need to create for another effect another level. Uh, L underscore loading, and in here. We want to K 
has to be on the scum main. Get instant host session. Okay. And now we uh, I change this back to loading level. And if we now press play. We are in the new meta level, and it's exactly what we wanted. Okay, uh, this, the next thing we need to do is uh, write some blueprint code in here. So, uh, on event begin play, uh, we want to add a void talker. Then, uh, yeah, I create a variable, I call it void underscore reference and then we check if the player state is valid if not and this can be true um, if you have um, some bad latency or something then we just want a little delay to check it again and uh, then we need to register the player state why doesn't it work uh, register player state. Uh. Oh yes, we need to combine that. Okay, then we need to set the mic threshold. Uh, um, just set it to minus one. If it doesn't work at the end of the video, you maybe need to change this. And then we want to get the actual actual player state. Uh, uh, no, I'm so sorry. We need to get this and set the settings. Then we can just split this. Okay, and attach this to that component. So now uh, we can we can't try this because we forgot something. Uh, we you need to add something to your config as uh, we did in the last video. So search up your project and go to your config. I'm in my config right now and just go to defaultengine.ini, open that, and we are here, and we need to add something. So I just looked it up and it's very simple. Uh, we just need to add the voice be enabled equals true here. Uh, we need to be has voice enabled equals true. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, this comes to here. And we'll just copy this to here. And that's everything uh, here. And we also need to go to the default game.ini. And here it's also very, very simple. We just need to add this. Just write it down. Like so. Okay, we can save this and close this. And because we want to test it, and we so we can hear ourselves if we talk. So just go to your first person character. Uh, like so. Do a little branch if it's locally controlled then we want to execute a console command and it's oss dot voice loop back one and i also want to add something different here so let's copy this so um uh, we need to toil speaking And set it to one. Uh, you can also do that if you press V key. Yes, I will do that fast. And do 
navigator said it's push to talk and now we can test it close everything launch the game so we should now end up in our main level and not in the loading level so we won't have a black screen and that work and now i press b hello hello and we hear ourselves so uh if you if you now walk around uh, you won't have proximity that's why we want to add something else um we want to add an attenuation so just go to your content folder go to sounds go to sound attenuation uh, i call it s a underscore voice chat and we also want to add something different uh, we want to uh, go to sounds and we want to add this chain so effect chain underscore voice chat and we also want to go to effects and add the preset and i will uh, get the bit crusher preset and now we can call it uh, Sound effect underscore voice chat. Okay, so um, first of all, the sound attenu attenuation. You can change everything you see here uh, to your pleasing, and uh, just plug this in here and here. Uh, this is a special thing. You don't need to do this. It's a very cool effect. If the player is too far away, then you hear a like walkie-talkie sound sounding voice. So I can show you that um, if we now uh, go in here, add an effect, choose our effect and don't check bypass and go to our effect and I think that is okay. And if we now launch it again. You should hear a, a nice um, radio or walkie-talkie effect. Hello? Hello, hello? Uh, okay. So, I think that is fine. Just, uh, we want to add, we want to add something else. Uh, ah yes, of course. Uh, so now you can. I uh, maybe there's a better method, but on event tick you can check the distance to all. Oh, you can so just check the distance. So get the actual location and then get the actual location from another player. Check the distance, and if they are too far apart, then you can just change this these settings. And then you're good to go. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, this small video, or maybe it's large, I don't know, uh, where we set our proximity chat. Please subscribe, like, and goodbye.